Oh yeah, we have found the Four Sevens booth. Big time flashlight dealers. We've talked about them in the Nut and Fancy project. I've yet to do some of their reviews on their proprietary lights. It's coming, you'll see it. Um, I have an AA Square Tactical uh, and also a Mini 123. Oh yeah, there's a cooler logo right there. Four sevens. Yeah, so we got uh, several representatives here who have agreed to be on camera, be part of the Nut and Fancy project. Some of them I've already talked to in personal emails. This is Vince Tidwell. What's up? David Chow. Just talked about the Mini One Two Three, That's and right. this is the guy that was behind the design of that light. Am I right? Yes, the Mini One Two Three. Awesome. How is that selling? About the size of your thumb. Look at that. Size and weight efficient. You guys know I'm huge on that with any of my gear, especially the lights. I'll show you the size compared to the battery. This is totally improvised. It's how we work uh, in the Nut and Fancy project. You write a script and we'll throw it in the garbage. Doesn't work out. Look at that. Size. Oh yeah, you're gonna see a separate review. Maybe one of one of these days I'll come back and annotate this vid when I do it. But do you know of any other light that has that output that is that size efficient? No. This is Peter Davis, also a four sevens. I don't. I think it's awesome. There's not another light out there in this size and, and uh, category that puts out 189 lumens out the front. Amen. Amen. Can we shine you? Uh, yeah, hit the hit. Two, three, hit it. There you go. Bam! Yeah. Probably can't see. Wow. Okay. End of the world. <laughs> That's what you see when you die, right? It's just like blinding white light. <laughs> and then I look up. Oh, well, I'm pre sold. You? We pre-sold hundreds of these before even began to ship. So, very popular. You're, you can release this thing after the show. Okay, hold on. Let's get a pause. Okay. That's a CR2 mini titanium. Oh, size compared to the look at that. And it uses a double A? CR2. CR2 battery, right. that's right. That's a also short squad. three volts, one. same output, same everything, but just smaller. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Uh, when you designed the reflector, what, what were you after? Uh, I noticed it's got a good throw, yes. and it's also got a good spill beam, too. Yes, yes. What were you after? What we usually do is we start with a smooth reflector to get the maximum amount of throw possible. And then, because of the, <clears throat> due to the, the nature of a parabolic reflector, right. it usually is a little... The, the more perfect the reflector is, the more likely there's going to be a hole in the middle. Then what we do is we start stippling the reflector, making it more and more texture until that hole disappears. Interesting. So what you see here is the perfect balance between a throw and flood while, keep, uh, while having a, uh, a perfect beam. That's what I was talking about. See that transition between the spot and the flood? It's, it's, it's very smooth. smooth. I don't see any halos in there. I don't see no. any weird artifacts or anything in that. Incidentally, the Phoenix P3D, which I got from you this week, thank you very much, very well. has a lot of artifacts in that beam. We won't say anything about that. What is up? I mean, the, the regular, uh, actually, did I say that right? PD30. The PD3 actually was a cleaner beam than that one. You You'll see go, that in tabletop. I don't know what the problem I mean, this is bad. I'm sorry, go ahead. You gotta go to their booth and ask them about that. Yeah. Okay, we won't talk about it. I know, I know they're pushing the 4.7's brand. <laughs> That's so okay, actually. Yeah, talk to us, okay, David. A derivative of the Quarks is the, the Turbo. It's got a flared head. Um, more of a traditional flashlight look. It's got a smooth reflector, if you look at it. And this is mainly for optimizing the throw. So then, if you look at it, there's still a tiny bit of stippling. This is compared to a normal one, two, three. Okay. And I can shoot on the wall and show you, if you want. Sure, do whatever okay. you want. Let's do it right here. The world this is your is, audience. Whoops. This is the normal cork. This is the turbo cork. Okay, that? in the right hand side, so on your right hand, you have which cork mount? The regular. It's a CR123 version, yes, right? Yes, right, right. Okay. One, two, three squared. Okay. This one is bigger beam. Right. The turbo throws a tighter beam. See that? Yeah, I do. Very. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so the turbo. Mainly so that people can like hold it and know which end is which. Some people prefer to know. I like see it. that, but some other people prefer a rod type light. So yeah, I can see both sides. I really can. 
So we have turbo and one, two, two, one, two, three, and two AAs as well. Okay, so that same one, just double A cells. Yeah. Uh, burn time on that, roughly, at uh, max mode? I believe it's about, about an hour and a half. An hour and a half, something like that. So here's the neat thing, the new thing that came out. This is a, it's a prism. See, it looks like a little periscope. Wicked. Pops on any of these standard quarks. Wicked. Turn it on, you got nine degree of night. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Comes with I'm a head check strap. I figure out a way to use that too. Comes up with comes with a head strap, so you can uh, convert it into a headlamp. Why buy two lights when one does both? See. Well, I will say this, David. Uh, I really like that Phoenix headband. I reviewed it. It's awesome. It stays in position. It's got the clicking. I, if you guys come out with a competition, I'd be up for that. <laughs> and let me tell you, here's we're not fancy keeping it real. This ain't it. Yeah. This is not it. It's not gonna hold on. No, to heck yeah. no. This is hokey. Right, right. Sorry, it's well, hokey. The not this. Up. I like the angle head. I think right. angle head is an awesome thing. Yeah. The headband, yeah, you can make it work. Right. But having that. You know the the pivot, click, click, right, click, right. and it's very positive and it's durable plastic. Yeah. It doesn't break, doesn't wear out. The thing is, actually, to be honest, we have tons of them get sent back. People just can't stand the clicking, the looseness. Really, yeah. I've used mine so much. It's huge. But if you configure it the way, nothing. Uh, I'm sorry, the way uh, Phoenix wants you to do it, right. it is a ridiculous setup. They want you to do like the battery, you know, on um, both sides, the extra battery, the overhead strap. I don't do that. I just run the the strap alone, and then you guys have seen it in pictures, and then I just run the light asymmetric. That wor that works pretty good. Fair enough, though. I mean, that's just a data point. How about the prions? Talk to me. Okay. Prions. Prions are smaller than quarks, and they they are powered by AAA batteries. And we have prion twos, which are the two battery setups, and they come with a clicky. Prion ones are the single AAA. It's a little messy here. And uh, the single AAA is a twist type. You just twist on, three modes, low, medium, high. Low, medium, high. I can tell you right now, I love those lights. And um, They're small. Look how thin they are, guys. They're oh, the yeah. same form factor as a Streamlight Stylus Pro, but they will dominate a Stylus Pro. Yeah, they will. Because, multi I'll show you, on high, 160 lumens. Dude, I love there's, it already. There's not a... a Two AAA light that is as bright as this. Nothing comes close. And here, try check this out. Feel gotta, this. Feel this. this feel this. What does it feel like? Like nothing. No, no, no. Feel the surface. A pen? The surface. It's kind Aluminum. of grippy. grippy. Yeah. A little grippy. I'm probably not saying what he wants me to say. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's okay. It's a proprietary finish. It's hard anodized, but it feels rubbery. Yeah, it does. It has more traction than right. a normal one does. Right. This is unique to uh, unique process that we came up with. Interesting. Nobody else has it, but it's still hard anodized. Same UI as your regular stuff, or what? Is uh, it just yes. taps? Yes. It's still like a Phoenix o yeah. UI, right? Right, right. You just tap through. And so I've got uh, low, medium, high, yes. turbo, beacon, SOS. Not that complicated. It's just low, medium, high. Okay. And it has a couple. Let me see. Go ahead. Yeah, I gotta tighten this up. Here you go. Yeah, I can't low, do things. Low, medium, same. high. Low, medium, high, and then it's got two, a uh, couple hidden modes. The way to get into the hidden modes is you go low, medium, high twice, like this, like low, medium, high, low, medium, high strobe. Oh, I see. SOS. Oh, a beacon <laughs> and a low beacon, long runtime beacon. Wicked. So you yeah, can so, use that for survival. Functions. So normally when you use it, uh, you don't run into those special modes. You low, medium, high. It just toggles between. And them. I think that is smart because most people don't use those special right. modes. And I know. When you I need know. it. You go go after. You have it accessible. I love the colorations too. You got the red anodized, blue, okay. gold. That gold is particularly cool looking. Like it, huh? What's your price on that, dude? This yeah. is on these. This is. Uh, Third, uh, this is forty-five dollars retail, and these are thirty-seven retail. Is that what they're selling on the website for? Yeah, yeah. Actually, we sell them a bit more, but uh, our our distributors sell them lower. Okay, and yeah. you. So, do you have a distributor network now for yes. your lights? We have about one hundred fifty dealers that sell our products. Wow. Yeah. And so, if they go to, and of course, it's the same old thing. You can't undercut your distributors. Right. I think. Definitely. That doesn't make friends. Yeah. yeah. So we've got these uh, titanium versions. See that? It doesn't look titanium, it almost looks stainless, but we, we mirror polished it. So, it's titanium. You didn't hear what I said, I just said, awesome. Second type of cool maxed out on that light, and first type. Wow, that is we, wicked. We've got one that is an aluminum body with a head and tail in titanium. See that? 
good. I dig it. Classy. Dig it. Not as slick, you know. It's a beautiful light. Yeah. I mean, it's going to show fingerprints and stuff, but sure. it's a, uh, you can't get something for nothing. Wow, that is wicked. I can see doctors and, you know, maybe uh, EMS people. Yeah. EMS people. <laughs> EMS people carry this, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, before I forget, the Mini 123 doesn't have some hidden modes too? It does. It's I was the same as Prions. So I can okay, demonstrate yeah. that too. Low, medium, high, low, medium, high. So you've got to do low, medium, high within like three seconds or something like one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Whoops. Strobe. There you go. SOS. Well, I missed it. Yeah, I'm with it. Anyway, the special modes, you don't need to get there unless to you, yeah, yeah, so, dude, That's awesome, well, oh, you, tactical line, okay, okay, let's look over here, feel free, they this all is a, the M500, we are missing the G500, we gotta look for it tonight, 500. what, what do you mean, someone stole it, well, it's probably in the, uh, I hope not, it's probably in our hotel, so this is, uh, which one did you say that is, the M500, yeah, but uh, there's going to be a G500 out as well. Powered by, Power by uh, an XPG R5. And here's the newest thing. What throw are you talking about here, realistically? And I think the throws generally are overstated by manufacturers. They are, they are. They're like, yeah, it's a 200 meter light. And then Fancy it, it, says it's a 50 yard light. Sorry. Yeah. The M500 is a short range light. Okay. It's got the quad die. And uh, the spread is much wider than most. So, how about that that emitter head, David? Uh, what has been done with that to increase the throw on it? Well, this is not a throw light. It's a broad area yeah, light. Yeah. Okay. The G500 actually has a, a little deeper reflector, smooth, using XPG at 1.5 amps. Okay. And, and for viewers, will, XPG is it's the newest uh, line of LEDs by Cree. <laughs> Um, they've broken some <laughs> lumens per watt records at unprecedented output, efficiency outputs. Just amazing, huh? So we uh, have the, the top of the cream of the crop bins called R5s. Can you guess? Those are the most efficient. Why is efficiency important? Because um, it's not just the energy usage, it's how much harder you can push it to get more light. So, because LEDs are naturally limited by uh, the amount of heat they put out. If it's too much, they will overheat. You know, interesting. So the XPG allows us to push even higher thres thresholds of brightness out of a um, portable quartz series like Any downsides to using XPG? Let's say, for instance, uh, form factor of the turbo model. Uh -huh. Would it be advantageous to run an XPG in that? Oh, there's an XPG in this. Oh, right now. All okay. the ports have our XPGs. Okay, so that answers my question. Too. Well, High efficiency, yes. ultra bright LED. Right. We are always looking for the newest, most efficient, brightest LED. Another example is we picked up the uh, Luminous Flat Light SST90, and this is the... Um, That's a pocket light there, right? Uh, big pocket light. Anyway, this is the S1800. Uh, it's about 1800 lumens at the bulb. This is the S1800. Yeah, it's about 1500 Ooh. out the front. See that? Can you throw it across the show and floor? Yeah, see what could, it does? Yeah, right there. See that? Go that wall way over there. That wall right there. Okay. Okay. It's, it's not a thrower, but. It's not really a thrower. It's got gobs of light. Yeah, it does. Coming out of it. But I mean, that was, that's about, what, 50 yards away, that wall. Probably. And you're getting a good air, light there. And it's at the end of the day, the battery's probably run down already. That's the downside to all those really high power lights. It's just energy source. Right. Powered by six one two threes. No, I rest my case. Uh, I don't think technology has a way to overcome that yet. Not yet. For instance, David, correct me if I'm wrong, if I want to throw a beam, no kidding, 200 yards. Right. I'm going to need a lot of juice, kind of like 6123s, right. some high technology, yes. high efficiency LEDs, and even then I'm going to go through my bats, true yep. or false. Yep, you, I mean, there's a cost to high power. That's right. But, here's an exception. Ooh, I like exceptions. The S1200. It also is driven by an SST90. Okay. This is a prototype. It's not going to come out until third quarter. Um, it's powered by a lithium phosphate. 
battery. It's safer than lithium ion, and uh, you can drive it even harder. So I'm going to show you. This. It's about 1,200 lumens at the bulb. Not bad for a handheld light. Huh? Outstanding. It's going to be rechargeable. This size. Yeah, much smaller than this bad boy. Yes. And it's a solid <laughs> copper core. And this is a, a nitrate coating right here. Very nice. Practical uh, heat sink. Is that absolutely? Uh, and I noticed this one has it too. Yeah, heat sink. That's this is pretty much necessary for that heat yeah. generated. Anybody who says they can put 30 watts without proper heat sinking is silly. So, yeah. yeah. so the, we, we use copper to pull the heat away from the light. Here's a gold one. Not, I don't have a battery in there, but no, we can yeah. go like three times. Let's go. That's actually well. That's kind of stout. It's yeah. heavy, but again, you're putting out two. Would you say 1,200? 1,200. At the bowl. At the bowl. At the bowl. Okay. About 900 out the front. Outstanding. So that's our lineup. Awesome. Uh, what are these? Are these? Oh, this is a one-time limited uh, titanium quark. So no more set. Um, we don't make any more. There won't be any more. We've got a couple more in our store, but uh, it's pretty much like jewelry. Um, that is awesome. What's the price on that? Five hundred bucks. Five hundred. Yeah. But there's not much more. They're all serial numbers. And, uh, Mega collectible. Maxing out the second type of quark. Look at that. Look at that. Accessory tray. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. RGB. Pin grips and batteries and holsters. Yeah. You just go right uh, into the purpose of that. And you had a lit sign. Well, turns on and off here. Yeah. The signs included. Yep. The program is It closes up nice. Dude, candle power form, guys. If you don't own this, you need to take out a second mortgage. The telecom case. I'm not sure. Turn it on, turn it off real fast. But that is wicked. Right. Yeah. Love it, love it. And this will be a snapshot in time, I think. You know, the technology will continue to increase. But I said in my uh, in my lighting technology video, is I wouldn't wait to buy a flashlight. I wouldn't say, well, I'm going to wait till the technology, you know, is even better than it is now. Dude, the technology now is amazing. The efficiency you get out of two cells, and like you saw with the mini one, two, three, one cell is amazing. Well, don't wait. Will it get better, more efficient, you know, more affordable? Probably. We can only hope so. I'm looking at the, uh, the pro Prion? The Prion line is a good example of that. I think it's exciting. Excited. Look at this. There's like no one here until we started filming. Now, like, everybody's here. Everybody's here. This is the happening booth, in case you don't know. Four sevens, baby. Great job. Uh, any projects you can talk about that are ultra secret? Uh, not at this time. <laughs> but you always got stuff in the works. Coming, yes. Yeah. Um, and you guys work closely or, or form presence in Candle Power? Candle Power forums? Is yeah. that true? Yes, yes. Our, our, our birthplace, you could say, is uh, Candle Power forums. Uh, all the ideas, all the. You know, we started about five years ago, uh, pulling from all the different ideas and feedback that all the members. And uh, it's been invaluable, and it's a good bit of credit just to them. There's some good guys in there. Oh, that's very squared away technologically. Awesome. Great. That's Ned and Fancy's visit to the 4-7's booth at SHOT. Hey, great job, David, showing us all the lights and giving us insight to everything. Appreciate you. you hosting us. Thank you, Ned. Very much. You bet. We'll see you online. We'll see you in the videos. And TM Piers, you know where to find some good lights, 4-7's. I think the pricing is actually pretty fair. And if you use a discount coupon CPF8, you can do that. So, And that's cool. They ran that. They continue to do that. So, I'm going to do the press, press release. Thursday, 1 p.m. You gonna be there? I don't even know what that's about, dude. I'm clueless about the shop show stuff. About I'm an the history idiot. Of, uh, lighting, uh, company history and the whole, uh, product. It's production. Thursday. This Thursday, 1 p.m. at the press room. Yeah, I'll try to make it. I, I would love to see that. I really would. It'd be interesting. Look at all the people here. Just have to pay. Who's happy? All right, dude. Peace out. Four seven.